அமெரிக்க அதிபர் தேர்தல் வேட்பாளர்கள் கமலா ஹாரிஸ் மற்றும் டொனால்ட் ட்ரம்ப் ஆகியோர் நேரலையில் ஒருவருக்கொருவர் விவாதித்து வருகின்றனர் அதனை தற்போது தொடர்ந்து பார்க்கலாம் used for food so maybe he said that and maybe that's a good yeah. thing to say for a city manager i'm not taking this from but television i'm taking it from the city manager but the people on television said the dog was eaten by the people that went there again the springfield city manager says there's no evidence of that vice we'll president harris out. i'll let you respond to the rest of what you've heard <laughs> you talk about extreme <laughs> um you know i this is i think one of the reasons why in this election i actually have the endorsement of 200 republicans who have formally worked with president bush mitt romney and john mccain including the endorsement of former vice president dick cheney and congress member liz cheney and if you want to really know the inside track on who the former president is if he didn't make it clear already just ask people who have worked with him his former chief of staff a four star general has said he has contempt for the constitution of the united states his former national security advisor has said he is dangerous and unfit his former secretary of defense has said the nation the republic would never survive another trump term and when we listen to this kind of rhetoric when the issues that affect the american people are not being addressed i think the choice is clear in this election President Trump will give you a quick minute to respond yeah. here. Yeah. Uh thank you because when I hear that, see I'm a different kind of a person. I fired most of those people. Not so graciously. They did bad things or a bad job. I fired them. They never fired one person. They didn't fire anybody having to do with Afghanistan and the Taliban and the 13 people who's who's were just killed viciously and violently killed and I got to know the parents and the family. They didn't fire they should have fired all those generals all those top people because that was one of the most incompetently handled situations anybody has ever seen. So when somebody does a bad job, I fire him. And you take a guy like Esper, he was no good, I fired him. So he writes a book. Another one writes a book because with me they can write books, with nobody else can they. But They have done such a poor job and they never fire anybody. Look at the economy. Look how look at the inflation. They didn't fire any of their economists. They have the same people. That's a good way not to have books written about you. But just to finish, I got more votes than any Republican in history by far. In fact, I got more votes than any president sitting president in history by far. Let me continue on immigration. It was what you wanted to talk about earlier, so let's get back to your deportation uh, uh proposal that the vice president has reacted to as well. Uh, president Trump, you call this the largest domestic deportation operation in the history of our country. You say you would use the National Guard, you say if things get out of control you'd have uh, no problem using the US With military. Police, yes. uh, you also said you would use local police. Uh how would you uh, deport 11 million undocumented immigrants? I know you you believe that number is much higher. Uh, Take us through this. What does this look like? Will authorities be going door to door in this country? Yeah. It is much higher because of them. They allowed criminals, many, many millions of criminals. They allowed terrorists, they allowed common street criminals, they allowed people to come in drug dealers to come into our country and then now in the United States and told by their countries like Venezuela, don't ever come back or we're going to kill you. Do you know that crime in Venezuela and crime in countries all over the world is way down? You know why? Because they've taken their criminals off the street and they've given them to her to put into our country. And this will be one of the greatest mistakes in history for them to allow, and I think they probably did it because they think they're going to get votes, but it's not worth it because they they're destroying the fabric of our country by what they've done. There's never been anything done like this at all. They've destroyed the fabric of our country. Millions of people let in and all over the world crime is down all over the world except here. Crime here is up and through the roof despite their fraudulent statements that they made. Crime in this country is through the roof and we have a new form of crime it's called migrant crime and it's happening at levels that nobody thought. Wants to be a dictator on day 1 according to himself. It is well known that he said of Putin that he can do whatever the hell he wants and go into Ukraine. It is well known that he said when Russia went into Ukraine it was 
brilliant. It is well known he exchanged love letters with Kim Jong-un. And it is absolutely well known that these dictators and autocrats are rooting for you to be president again because they're so clear. They can manipulate you with flattery and favors. And that is why so many military leaders who you have worked with have told me you are a disgrace. That is why we understand that we have to have a president who is not consistently weak and wrong on Vice national president security, Harris. including the importance of upholding and respecting in highest regard our military. Vice President Harris, thank you. They're the ones, and she's the one that caused it, that's weak on national security by allowing every nation last month for the year, 168 different countries sending people into our country. Their crime weights are way down. Putin endorsed her last week, said, I hope she wins. And I think he meant it because what he's gotten away with is absolutely incredible. It wouldn't have happened with me. The leaders of other countries think that they're weak and incompetent, and they are. They're grossly incompetent. And I just ask one question. Why does Biden go in and kill the Keystone Pipeline and approve the single biggest deal that Russia's ever made, Nord Stream 2, the biggest pipeline anywhere in the world going to Germany and all over Europe, because they're weak and they're ineffective. And Biden, by the way, President gets paid Trump, a lot of money. Thank you. We have a lot of issues to get to. We'll be right back with much more of this historic ABC News presidential debate from the National Constitution Center.